Hello friends, in this short webcast we're gonna apply the fiber saturation point concept to solve a wood problem. So think of a problem that we just cut a, a, a wood plank which has a width of um, 250 millimeter. Uh, at that point the green um, moisture content is 50% and the FSP fiber saturation point is given 27% so we don't have to use the 30% in general but if it, it if this was not given then we would have assume FSP as a 30% so the question asks find the width if the moisture content is dropped from 50 to 15% it also gives us the shrink shrink rate it says that the it, uh, the wood plank shrinks 7.8% uh, from its FSP uh, to oven dry so oven dry means there is no moisture content uh, in tangential direction so um, this is the wood plank this is the radial direction and this is the uh, these radial are the uh, annual ring so this would be our tangential direction and uh, the perpendicular would be our longitudinal direction so it says that it's um, the shrinkage in tangential direction in t direction is 7.8 percent from when the moisture content drops from fsp to oven dry meaning zero water so how do we um, approach this problem so for the solution we have to consider that the uh, moisture content um, above the FSP has no effect so only thing we have to consider or uh, we have to worry about is that the moisture drop from 27% to 15 so from 50% to 27% drop has uh, no effect um, so after when the moisture content keeps dropping below 27% then when the shrinkage have effect so we have to only consider 27 minus 12 that is uh, 27 minus 15 that is 12 um, so how do we connect uh, our target which is find the width um, with the moisture content because the moisture content is dropping and it has to affect um, the uh, the the width so from the question the rate of shrinkage um, so if it's given 7.8 percent is dropped from FSP from 27 to 0 so we got the rate of change is 7.8 divided by 27 this is the uh, rate of change 0.289 percent um, drop per um, moisture content drop so what would be the total drop when we have a moisture content drop what would be the change in width with if our moisture content drop from 27 to 15 percent um, so we'll get the we'll take the rate of shrinkage which is this one from percentage I divided by 100 so now it's original and then we take the change in moisture content from FSP to dry so that is 12 oh uh, no um this is from fsp to 15 percent so that is 12 uh, and the original uh thickness because the rate is change percent is per uh, millimeter or if the unit is given in centimeter so it should be in centimeter so i have to multiply it with the total width to um, get the total width loss so um so my total width, original width, rate of change, uh, rate of shrinkage, and then change in moisture content from SSP, FSP to target uh, moisture content. So that gives us 8.67 millimeter. So this is the width drop um, due, due to uh, moisture drop from FSP to uh, 15%. So what would be the width at... Um, 15% uh, moisture content. So, as again, you have to take the original 250 millimeter minus the difference. So, that gives us 241.33 millimeter. So, this is our answer. So, this will be the um, width uh, when the moisture content dropped um, to 15%. So, mm, that's the pro problem. 
Uh, if you have any question, comment below and I will explain that. Thank you.